Lesson 6, Topic, Systems of Linear Inequalities, Learning Target. I can solve a system of linear inequalities by graphing. So first off, some key vocab words. System of linear inequalities is two or more linear inequalities graphed on the same coordinate plane. So very similar to systems of linear equations, except for instead of an equation, you have an inequality. So the solution to a system of linear inequalities is all the order pairs that are solutions to all of the inequalities in the system. Now at the bottom here we have the chart with our symbols and then what they mean in words. So just a reminder, we have less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. So let's jump into some examples. We are going to graph our systems of linear inequalities. So you guys got three colored pencils. So right now I would like you to choose one color for the first inequality and box the inequality in that color. So I'm going to use blue. And this inequality is y is greater than negative x or negative 1x minus 2. So our m is negative 1, negative 1 over 1. And our b is negative 2. So we're going to graph that, which we should be really good at at this point. So we're going to start at negative 2. We're going to go down 1 over 1 using that slope. And we are going to fill up the entire graph with our line. We're not going to do half a graph. We have to fill up the whole graph. So once we run out of space, we flip it from down and right to the opposite, which is up and left. So we're going to go up and left across the graph to fill in this portion. Now our symbol was greater than, so greater than is a dashed line. So we're going to dash our line all the way across here. And then we need to shade. Now when you start shading, you're going to want to shade really lightly so that you can still see the pieces on the graph, the numbers, and because we're going to have to graph another inequality. So when we shade, we're going to shade greater than, so above the line. So we're going to shade really lightly above the line. So just lightly shade with that color pencil in that area. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing with our second inequality. We're going to pick up a second colored pencil, a different color than your first one. So I'm going to make our second inequality orange. You can use any of your colors that you chose. So we have y is less than or equal to. So I know it's going to be a solid line. 3x, 3 is my m, 3 over 1, plus 6 is my b. So I'm going to start my graph at 6. And then I'm going to use that slope, 3 over 1, which means I'm going to go up 3, right 1. And then remember, we have to go all the way across the graph, so we're going to flip that and go down 3, left 1, as many times as we possibly can. As the solid line, so we connect all the points. And then we shade lightly in the less than area. So below the line, we're going to shade lightly in the less than area. So all of this side is going to get shaded. So now the reason we have three colors is because our solution set is only where the two colors overlap. So it's only where the blue and the orange overlap. You're going to take your third color and you're going to shade darkly over where the blue and the orange line overlap. So in this, in this area right here where you can see my purple outline, that is the solution set for the system because that's where both inequalities overlap each other. That's where they intersect, where they cross. And that is how we graph a system of linear inequalities. So let's try another example. Again, we're going to start with our first color. So I'm going to go back to my blue. Y is less than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. 5x, 5 over 1 is my m, and 2 is my b. So I'm going to start at 2 on the y-axis. I'm going to go up 5 over 1, and I'm going to flip that and go down 5 left 1. Connect those points with a solid line. 
And then again, reminder, we're going to lightly shade in the less than area. So we're going to shade in the less than, which is below the line, where those Y values are less than. So we're going to shade this side of our graph in blue. So now we're going to flip to our second color. We have our second equation. Y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds X minus 4. I want you to answer a couple questions in Edpuzzle for me. All right, since it's greater than or equal to, it is going to be a solid line. Your slope is negative 2 thirds and your y-intercept is negative 4. I would like you to graph that inequality on your graph right now for me. So when we graph it, we should have gotten this orange line and the orange shading, as you can see on the screen. So then remember that last step is to pick up our third color and we're going to shade where the two other colors overlap. So where my orange and my blue are overlapping, we're going to shade that area in our third color darkly because that is the solution set for the system of inequalities. One last set of systems. We have three inequalities this time to graph. All right, so again, I'm going to start with my blue. Y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So there's no X variable, which means this is going to be a horizontal line. Starting at Y is equal to negative 1, and we're going to make that a horizontal line. And it's greater than or equal to, so it's going to be solid. And then we shade greater than, so we're going to shade above the line, because above is greater than. Remember to shade it lightly so you can still see other numbers and areas of your graph. All right, then you're going to pick up your second color, and we have x is less than negative 2, so this does not have a y, val y variable, so it's going to be a vertical line starting at x equals negative 2. And then it is less than, so it does not have an equal to, so it's going to be a dashed line. And then we shade lightly on the less than side, so on the left. All right, now you're going to pick up your third color. And we have y is less than or equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. Negative 1 half is our m, and our b is 2. So we're going to start at 2, and then go down 1 over 2. And then we're going to flip it. We're going to go up 1 left 2 as many times as we can. It's a solid line, so connect all the points with your line. And then it is less than, so we're going to shade below the line. All the way across that pink line, we shade below. Anything below this pink line gets shaded. So now since we had three colors, we can only shade where all three colors overlap. So we're going to get our darker color, and we're going to shade where all three colors overlap, which is right here in this little area, right there. So if you can't see that, it's this little area right here that's boxed in. So that area would be the solution set to this system of inequalities. That's all your notes for today. You can go ahead and move into your IXL practice.